Hello, this is Ron at the blower shop, and today we're going to take a look at a B&M 420 blower that unfortunately the pin came out of the rotor and unfortunately destroyed the rotors in the customer supercharger. And since these blowers have been discontinued for at least 15, probably 10 to 15 years, there are no longer uh, rotors and parts available for this. So what we're going to do is see what it's going to take to put our 671 rotors, two low rotors, in the 420 mega blower uh, case. There is a few differences. B&M uses a roller bearing in the back and a little bit different diameter seal for both on the shaft and the bore diameter. And unfortunately, this race does not fit our supercharger. So we're not able to utilize these bearings very easily. So what we've looked at is there's enough meat on this that we can remachine the rear bearing plate to put our bearing and seal in there and then change, just remachine the front seal to put our seal in the front bearing plate. They've at least had the same front bearings that we utilize, but it's a different seal diameter. One of the other issues with the B&M 420 is it is a double row bearing, but the bearing does stick up 200 thousandths out of the bearing plate. They used a real thin stamped steel retainer to hold that plate in, but unfortunately this is a very weak retainer and doesn't hold that bearing in properly. That's one of the number one failures on this supercharger was this retainer. So instead of trying to utilize this, we're gonna go ahead and machine some billet bearing retainers for the supercharger as well. So what we need to do now is we're gonna go in and double check our center to center distance on the B&M plate, even though I'm, uh, I've checked them in the past, but we're just gonna go ahead and just get an accurate measurement on center to center, just to make sure that everything is gonna be compatible with our gears and our rotors. Okay, now that we've got our bearing plate secured down to the granite stone, we can go ahead and start taking some measurements. Okay, now that we've got all our measurements verified and got everything programmed, we're going to go ahead and got it mounted in the machine. We're going to go ahead and find our zero in here and go ahead and get started machining it. Now that we've got all our parts machined, here is our billet retainer, heavy duty billet retainer versus a stamped steel. So you can see the difference, you know, quite a bit of difference between the two. So this is going to really hold that bearing into place and keep that bearing from moving on us. Here is the plate that we've got installed already. Bearings pressed in, new retainers, everything's fine. Also got the back machined. Here's the original B&M seal. You can see it uh, falls into this one, but now utilize our seal. So it's been remachined, so that'll get pressed in on final assembly. So everything there is good to go. We got our rear plate done. So now instead of the original, you know, roller needle bearing that used to be in there, now we have it machined for our bearing and then for our seal. And one of the things that we did uh, notice is this here is the rear cover. This diameter is actually the same diameter as the bearing, so it has to actually make contact with the bearing to properly seal to keep the grease in the rear bearings. So what we did was we made sure that we left this bearing up just a few thousandths on the machining process so that it'll be just slightly higher than this. So when this is contacted with the gasket, it'll give a positive seal around the ac actual outer race of the bearing to help maintain the grease in there for long time, you know, um, maintenance on the supercharger. Okay, there we go. We've got the clearances, uh, all the clearances set on the 420 mega bore with the new rotors installed. Now we're ready to just start buttoning it up again, put the front cover on. One of the other um, things that we realized is with the 420 coupler registers inside the gear so it locates on the outside of the coupler. 
As far as on the 71 series superchargers, everything registers to the gear. So we did have to machine the coupler to put a sleeve in there to locate on there. And also theirs is a four bolt for the pattern for the coupler. Ours is a six bolt, so we had to drill the extra holes on the coupler. So there you go. That uh, shows you what we can do, bring in a 420 mega blower back to life after uh, the pin came out of the rotor and destroyed the rotor. So hopefully this customer will have many more years of enjoyment with the supercharger. Thanks for watching.